circum center and circum circle of a triangle we know that a triangle has three sides and three vertices now if we find a point which is equally distant from all the vertices of the triangle we can say that it is the circum center of the triangle and using this we can construct the circum circle of the triangle the circum circle is nothing but a circle which touches all the three vertices of the triangle so our first step should be to find the circum center we know that there are three sides of the triangle so we can construct three perpendicular bisectors for the three sides now the point of intersection of these three perpendicular bisectors will be the circum center before getting started we'll quickly recall how to construct the perpendicular bisector let's draw one for the line ab with a as the center and a radius of more than half the length of ab let's draw two arcs one above and another below the line next without changing the radius let's keep the center as b and draw two arcs one above and another below such that it cuts the previously drawn arcs now mark the points of intersection and join them with a the line this will become the perpendicular bisector of the line ab now let's move on to find the circum center of a triangle so here's a triangle and we start off by drawing the perpendicular bisector for side ab let this line be l1 in a similar manner we'll construct the perpendicular bisector for side bc as l2 and the perpendicular bisector for side ac will be l3 now the three lines l1 l2 and l3 will meet at a single point this point is called as the circum center of the triangle an important point to note is that the circum center is at equal distances from each of the vertices which means if our circum center is s then the lengths sa sb and sc will be same so using any one of these lengths as the radius and s as the center if we draw a circle this circle will touch all the three vertices a b and c and it is called as the circum circle of the triangle let's now try and remember the steps once again first step draw the perpendicular bisectors next mark the circum center then with this point as the center and radius as the distance between the circum center and one of the vertices draw the circle this becomes our circum circle now let's use the same procedure to draw the circum circle of a right angled triangle triangle abc first let's take the side ab and draw the perpendicular bisector for this side next let's take the side ac and draw the perpendicular bisector for this side as well then mark the point of intersection as s but wait have we drawn the perpendicular bisector for the third side even if you draw it it will pass through the same point s so to find the circum center it's enough if you draw the two perpendicular bisectors for any two sides and mark their point of intersection now let's get back to our triangle abc which is a right angled triangle here the circum center falls exactly at the midpoint of the hypotenuse this is the case for all the right angled triangles now let's draw the circum circle for our triangle keep the center as s and the radius 
as SA or SB or SC and draw the circle. This circle will pass through the vertices A, B and C and it is our circumcircle. Now let's see how the circumcenter is different in an obtuse triangle. Let's consider the triangle PQR. As we already discussed, we'll draw the perpendicular bisectors for only two sides. First, let's consider side PQ. The perpendicular bisector becomes line L1. Next, let's consider side PR. The perpendicular bisector for this side is line L2. Now note carefully, the point of intersection of these two bisectors is outside the triangle. This implies that the circumcenter of any obtuse triangle will always be outside the triangle. Though it's outside, the distance between the circumcenter and all of the vertices are still equal. Using this distance as the radius, and the circumcenter as the center, let's draw the circumcircle. Again, this circumcircle will pass through all the vertices. With that, we have reached the end of the session. If you have found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.